isn't it called Amarillo? Amarillo. Amarillo. We used to live in Clovis, New Mexico, and we would always drive through here and Lubbock. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, slow down. What is this? Cadillac stuck in the ground. I have a feeling this guy is part of it. I'm Henry. Hi, Henry. I'm LBK. LBK, this is Joan. Hi, Joan. We How were you doing? Good. Welcome to Cadillac Ranch. Uh, these are whole <laughs> cars pushed down in the ground, right? Indeed, indeed. They're actually driven into the ground and filled in around them. Who's responsible like, for this piece? The, the ant one... farm. The ant farm is a, an architectural collective that was uh, around in the 70s. I decorate my cars up. Stanley decorates his cars. The ant farm probably decorated their cars. Who's Stanley? Stanley Marsh. He's this. Uh, this rich character. Did he on work on this project too? Yeah, he commissioned the ant farm to do it. Mr. March 3, it's a pleasure meeting Call you. Call me Stanley. Stanley, I will. I'm Henry. Stanley. Are you Henry? John. Good. Did, you, did you create these? Yes. Can, can we make a sitting area out of these? You want to. These art installations in the middle of nowhere, how did this come about in Amarillo where you wouldn't expect it to be? To begin with, you should expect art to be in Amarillo. I like to make things if you want to call them art. I'm more than pleased. But I just call them things. Look at that. The socks are new. <laughs> are you serious? For 20 years, it stood sockless. Losers go to museums to figure out what somebody else thinks is better for them. It's a good anti-gallery standpoint. It's out here and it's free, it's open. Art should be fixed with a self-destruct button where it doesn't last long so that people don't buy it for a consolation prize. And the added advantage would be it would destroy a great deal of art that people now worship because it costs a lot of money and it's an antique. And we would have to make more art. And it should be hung in supermarkets, under Expressway, at Walmart. We made art! Next, I think we should see the, uh, the grave of the unknown whore. It's a lasting tribute to the scores of brave young women who dedicated their lives to providing feminine companionship to lonely pioneer men of the high plains of Texas. <laughs> she doesn't have any grandchildren come by and leave, who acknowledge her to come by and leave flower, but she's appreciated. And a town without good graffiti would be a town to speed through. I think that the town should treasure their graffiti because it shows how lustful and inventive and exciting their young people are. One of your guys' big projects, obviously, we saw even a couple while we were driving today, they're putting up all the big signs. These great signs everywhere that at first glance look like road signs, and so I'm guessing this is where they go to die. It's a middle zone. I'm not sure exactly what happens after this, but we're raising them from the dead, if you will. We're not, we're not laying them down fully ever. They're, uh, they're halfway up, they're halfway down in this big circle, a big ring of signs. I think I'm really lucky. I've gotten to know a great many creative people like you too, and LBK, and it's made my life fun and interesting. That was really cool. I, I thought we were just going to go see a bunch of Cadillacs shoved into the ground. I really didn't expect what this ended up being. A complete, unique, unique individuals. I can't believe that we're already two-thirds through it. I'm annoyed. I wish we were just starting with this one. Mm, oh, well, Dios mio. Ay, Dios mio. Oh. we'll see you next time right here on the smart truck.